trying some drunken brined baby back ribs today. So we're gonna make a nice brine. Gonna let them chill in there for, you know, five hours, six hours, something like that. You could probably go up to 12. I wouldn't go much more than that. Um, otherwise you will have ribs that will fall off the bone before they're done, you know what I mean? So we're gonna try to avoid that. But let's build our brine. Start with the container, something that'll fit. We got four cups of water in here right now. And now we're gonna add starts of our brine here. We're gonna do a cup of apple cider vinegar. Yum. And now we're gonna do a half cup of some beam apple, some good bourbon. If not, you know, you can use Jack too. They have apple stuff. Nice half cup. And then we are gonna use a half a beer. Using fat tire. You could use any good ale, lager, whatever. That's about half. All right, so now we're gonna get some salt in our brine. The vinegar is gonna be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. But we gotta have some salt in it. So we're gonna do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, some nice cracked black pepper, and we're going to be doing a tablespoon of sugar. This is turbinado. I would suggest it, but use whatever you want. Just like so. Now, let's just mix it up. Get it to all blend in there. Get the salt and the sugar to dissolve a little bit. Man, it's so good. Look how fly got in from outside. We'll go hunting later than that guy. All right, now we have six cloves of garlic. We're just gonna mash them. Throw them in the pool. We've got a half an onion here, quartered up, peeled of course. That's it. Now, let's get our baby bags ready. All right. One baby bag. Two baby bag. There's a big old boys right there. So, just to do a quick, quick remove membrane. We wanna make sure our, uh, our brine gets in there, does what it's supposed to do, penetrates all that meat. Especially on a nice, big, meaty, meaty rack of baby backs. Oh, look what the butcher did here. What the hell, man? Uh, that stuff will um, just add so much flavor and moisture. So I'm just gonna go right down here in the center. Lift it up. 
grab our paper towel. Just like that. Not the knife to be doing this, but whatever. Trim off any flap, any excess. This looks pretty good. Actually, this guy right here, I'm just gonna take this bone right off of this thing. There we go. Trim them up nice. Just like that. And these are some nice baby backs, man. It's nice, nice. I'd be happy to cook those. <clears throat> All right, again, this one's gonna prove to be a problem because the, the butcher seemed to have got a little buck wild on it for me. But we're gonna give her a shot. All right, we got her. No problem, guys. Just like so. All right. Again, anything hanging, anything flapping, get rid of it. This is a little bit of a goofy rack, man. So, but I am gonna trim just some of this. Otherwise this end over here is gonna get crazy fatty, man, and I don't like it, so. Let's remove some of that vein, let the rest of it render. This end actually looks pretty good, so I don't see any reason to uh, trim it off. All right, so that's what we got. We got our backs ready to go. Let's grab our brine. Another mix. All right, so now I'm gonna take these, put them in here best I can. Man, I didn't realize how big these things were. These things are monsters. Um, they're not going to brine properly. Eh, maybe. Just make it happen, right? Good enough. Look it in there. I'll let them go. After a little bit, since I'm using such a tight vessel here, I'll come in and uh, give them a flip. You know what I mean? Just to make sure I get uh, good brine on each side. So we're going to roll with it, guys. It'll work. I don't feel like dirty and something else. Put this on there nice and tight. Pull our air out. more there we go yeah should be good so all right i'm just gonna toss them in the fridge and we're gonna let them sit uh like i said probably about five six hours something like that and um then we'll get them on the grill so it's time to get our ribs ready i was gonna do these on the gravity on the uh old country they just get away don't have time to mess with it so, first ribs on the beast again tonight. So, this is what we got. Check it out. So, our ribs out of our brine. Man, they smell awesome, man. Seriously awesome. All I'm doing is giving them a quick shake. Not taking, not blotting them, not anything. We're gonna use that for our rub. We got two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of pepper, <clears throat> two tablespoons of smoked paprika, teaspoon of celery salt, seed, teaspoon of mustard seed, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of cayenne, teaspoon of red black 
or snap cracked red pepper and a uh, teaspoon of onion. That's it. It should marry pretty well with the citrus and the bourbon and all that other good stuff. Give us our heat since that brine is actually going to be pretty sweet, you know, on that apple side of things. So again, bottom, I'm not going to get too heavy with it. Focus more on the outside. Since the ribs are moist, I'm not going to layer this rub on too much. It'll just get cakey, have a hard time building the bark. The ribs will already have a ton of flavor in them just from the brine alone. So we just want a little bit, you know? Tell the brine took really well. Surface area on this one, this rack over here. Wow, man. It's a big rack of ribs. All right, let's give them a little press, size it into all that meat a little bit. That's it. So, all right, I'm gonna just let them sit while I get the pit lit. All right, so 275. Let's do this. All right, so burning some uh, oak, of course, <clears throat> and some apple, just for flavor. Keep the consistency, you know, go with the brine, all that other good stuff. So just gonna let them run. Uh, I do have a water pan in there. So shouldn't need to do anything. You come out and check on them every once in a while. We'll be back. All right, guys, it's been three hours. I just checked them and they're coming back around. They look fantastic. Gave them a couple of uh, probes, nice and tender, beautiful bark. We just see this bark. Check this out. Damn! Look at them teeth smiling at you. It's like that. Let's pull them off. Very carefully. Eh? Look at that. Look at that bark on them things, man. Try to grab this one without breaking it. Oh, man. Look at that. They smell good. They smell real good. All right. We're going to go in, let them rest for a minute, and uh, let's cut into them. All right, guys. Man, these things look good. Super excited to try them. Check them out. 
Damn, damn, damn. Let's just stop bullshitting and just cut right into these things, man. Take this guy. Damn, look at that. Ho oh, ho, moist. That's beautiful. Let's see what this is all about, shall we? I'm gonna go on this side right here. Wow. I'm seriously probably some of the best tasting ribs I have had. All right, let's bring it. Let's bring it in impartial. Hey, hon. I need an impartial opinion, if you don't mind. I know you always, you won't give me, yep. You'll always give me an honest opinion. These are drunken, brined baby backs. No sauce, nothing but love. Tell me what you think. I don't like sauce anyways. That's a good bite right there. That's fucking good. <laughs> right? Wow. I mean, come on. You're biting through bark on them things, man. Mm. So I gotta give it back? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess you can keep it. Thanks. All right, guys. That's it. Seriously. They turned out fantastic, man. Look at that. That's a good rack rib. Listen to this. So, holy shit. All right, we're gonna dig in. That's it, that's all I got.